Oh man. Keep the light keep the light on. There you go. Sorry. It's okay. Oh my gosh, Jim. This, how did that look? You got that baby. This is called a capybara. Mm -hmm. It is the yeah. largest rodent in the world. Yes, it is. And um, mm -hmm. we're hunting in Argentina with uh, Gonzalo with Gonzalo here at um, Serio India Safaris. Uh, this is about the sixth animal that I've taken uh, with my bow on this hunt. <clears throat> the, this is this animal is a is a free ranging capybara. It's a large rat. Uh, they um, live in the water. Mm -hmm. uh, they come out to the fields at night to eat. The way we hunt them is we drive around the streams and the edges of fields and we and we shine a big spotlight. And then we seen this one probably about like 200 yards away across mm -hmm. the field. Mm -hmm. He was so large that uh, Gonzalo thought that it was a, a hog. Yeah. You know, he looked through the binoculars and he said, uh, "No, it's a capybara." So um, then you get out of the, you shut the vehicle off and you uh, you stalk it with a flashlight. So we were sneaking across the field. It's pitch black, and uh, I could hardly see. I was right behind Gonzalo and. And I was looking up at the at his head, the silhouette of his head, mm -hmm. and uh, we got about halfway to it, and he shined his little little mag light mm -hmm. on it, and yeah. uh, and he it was still there. It was actually it was starting to leave, so we changed yeah. our position a little bit, and we snuck up after it, and then yeah. we got right to the edge of the field, mm -hmm. and uh, he said, "Are you?" He whispered, "Are you ready?" And I turned my my lighted pin on, and I drew, I'm and uh, and he, boom, there it was. <laughs> and he was a little bit farther than what I wanted, so I took about a few steps and I, I think mm -hmm. Jim uh, videoed me doing that but I took a couple of steps and I made a real good shot at him and mm -hmm. gosh he, he only ran just a little ways but it's really neat because these are the largest rodents in the world yeah. uh, um, this one here weighs close to a hundred pounds yes uh, more or less a hundred pounds he, he figures and, and it's one of the largest uh, capybara that, that yes it's, it's a big male yeah. it's a big male it's really one. huge male so you don't you haven't shot too many as big as this no, one. No, not like this one. It's not so easy. <laughs> yeah, and they have a. It's kind of neat because they have a head, like a beaver almost, and they've yeah, got big very teeth. very big teeth. I yeah. don't know if you can see that, mm -hmm. but uh, um, they're they just have huge teeth like a beaver. They've got a very large head, so their head's basically like a beaver, mm -hmm. and then their back feet are real neat. This is they're, amazing. <laughs> yeah, their back feet are like sloth toes or. I don't know what the deal with them. They're like webbed, webbed back yeah. feet, and they're just huge Important. animals. They're just absolutely huge. I just can't, I, I just can't believe it. I can't get over it. How big they are. They are big rats, no? They are. They're, it's just a huge rat. It's, it's, uh, but it's just neat. It's a huge rat. Um, yeah. They're native to uh, to Argentina mm -hmm. and to South and South America, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, they're free ranging. They're they can be anywhere. They're usually by the water because they live in the water, and, mm -hmm. and we were able the to. We, yeah. We've been looking for um, what four nights now, or five nights? Four nights. Four yeah. nights we've been looking, and tonight we finally found this this large male, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm just so happy. I thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Man, that was that was a good hunt. That was yeah, a great too. hunt. Okay. <sighs>